uh, the birds are singing, the flowers are blooming, and kids like you should be burning in hell. Then you get dunked on. Meanwhile, kids like us should be playing some Zoids Battle Legends right here, because it is finally time to end this LP once and for all. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, my name is Love Game, lasted. or PD1 Piranha if you prefer, and I have my special guest here with me once again. What's up, YouTube? How you doing? Y'all should Wait, know him by now. I guess I should have said my name, huh? Mastodon the Pizza Slicer. Or Sportica 62 if you prefer. Or if you're a real old school guy, you pick Otaku17. Oh, that's a hidden one, you know? I usually let people dig around for that, but you know, now the secret... What is the next line in that song? Now your secret's out. Uh... 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 Dude, I don't... I, you can't help but smile every time you see my face. I... But, uh, yeah. <laughs> something, something. I bet you don't know my name. How'd you get to be so close when you're so far away? Oh, that one. Yeah, we're going really old school here. <laughs> she haven't heard from her in a while either. Hope she's doing all right. You know what? I've come to have like a totally new respect for her now because I watch. Well, I watch. I listen to her podcast. She's just as fucked up as the rest of us. No kidding. She had all kinds of mental trauma and hurdles to get over. And I'm like, damn girl, you persevered. I, I gotta give that one to you. Made bank doing it too. Respect. She, Me. Um, I have no idea. Would she like was in a podcast with this one girl who was talking about how like she was in some kind of like private schooling where like Okay, skip this part if you're sensitive about these kind of things. Not oh, her, the, the girl she was talking to, um, somebody fucked the back of her knee. What? And, like, like, like stuck it in the back of her, like, her knee, um, leg pit, if you will, and... So, that, that little area yeah. where the knee bends and you know, you... Your calves might end up touching, you know, your thighs and all that, or I guess, yeah. what is that, quadriceps? Uh, some person actually took their junk and, and like, yeah, got hard somehow and did that? Somehow it, that did happen. But yeah, no, I've, I read, like, I read and listened to, like, a lot of interesting stuff about her, how, like, she was actually, she had bulimia for a while, and she lost a tooth through that. I mean, I remember after, like, the Nickelodeon years, it started looking like she was getting thinner, but didn't know she was... And good on her for, you know, getting over that, recovering from it, yeah. you know? Yeah, man. But it is Props cool to learn him. that, like, my true and honest uh, sweetheart from when I was 16 was just as fucked up as the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> really I mean, humanizes her a lot. <laughs> I mean, I guess at the end of the day, we're all just human beings walking around on this planet. Some people, you know, star in TV shows. Some people do LPs of Zoids. Me and him, me and day. this guy right here met because of her. True that. Like I, I can see it. I still consider Spartacus one of the only positive things to come out of that obsession I had going on. Yeah, YouTube. It was interesting because I was in college at the time, freshman, um, watching a lot of uh, what's the name of that show, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a fascination with uh, the woman in question. We're talking about if you didn't. Uh, I didn't know we name. were we were allowed to use their name. <laughs> oh god, the forbidden name. <laughs> I thought we were like keeping it vague, you know, just in case, you know, she might be scrolling through. Maybe she was a fan of Zoids. It's like, oh wait, they're talking about me? I uh -oh. mean I spoke to her a handful of times through the, like the YouTube uh, private message back when that was a thing, so maybe she remembers who I am, who knows. Holy shit, man, I didn't know that. No, I, I awesome. had some contact. I wouldn't have been 
um, you know, I, I wouldn't have kept that going on for as long as I did if I had never even gotten, like, so much as a, a peep from her, but... Yeah, yeah no, I, well. I spoke to her a handful of times back in the day. Oh, well, shit, that's cool. But, but mean, long story short... If, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> long story short, found him on Twitter... And, and I was like, at the yeah. time, I was extremely vocal about my true and honest, undying love for her, and made all these like long, lengthy posts about how much I loved her and all that. And he found me through, through that. Yeah, one of one of his posts, and just hit him up, and I said, "Yo, man, this is legit, hard on your sleeve type stuff." I mean, that's not exactly what I said. But some key I still have the, the tweet. It's something along the lines of, like, it takes a lot of guts to wear your heart on your sleeve like that. Yeah, it sounds like something I would have said. Something but yeah, ever since then. Effect. Yeah. It's been, like, what? Uh, uh, 11 years, right? We met in 2010, and it's been, yeah, like, ten and a half years now, so to yeah. give or take. That That's almost about as long as a Pig Roach Legacy, you know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah, I might, like, uh... But, yeah. Not trying to put a negative spin on this, but I'm just saying. <laughs> We're gonna last a long time, I think. We are. Um, and... I love this music track, by the way. This track makes you just oh, yeah. wanna, like, chill. I mean, this is totally anime friends hanging out kind of music right here. I love it. Yeah, just up, beep, beep, bopping, working on your giant uh, robotic animals with guns attached to them. Twisting that wrench. Speaking of misspellings, Ballad? Ballad, Ballad, Ballad. What What? What was his name in the anime again? Brad. Brad Hunter. Well, you know, well, you know how in Japan, R is L and L's. R. Yeah, yeah, so maybe that was his Japanese name. It probably was. I mean, maybe he likes to sing ballads. Also, daily reminder, Mary Champ was only ever in one episode of the anime. Ever. But she she was obviously popular enough to get a spot in this game. Props to her for persevering. Now, if y'all true and honest PD1 Verona fans... By the way, you can pick Van and Fiona at the same time. That's kind of funny. If you know who I am... You know who I'm picking for this uh, final part of the LP? Oh, uh, here we go. Where's she at? There we go. Mission confirmed? Taking off now. Now who's going to be the partner? Who should be our partner? I'm going to let you pick. Who do you oh, think man. should be oh. our true and honest partner for this? Uh... Let's scroll through Journey. here real quick. Let's see our options. Uh, because I have an idea, but I want to see if there's, like, a better option here. Even the random operators are playable characters in this. That's awesome. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, wait, I take that back. They actually do have a guy named Brad. Yeah, and his name is Blood in the in actual English. Maybe it was just, like, a coding error where they accidentally switched up the names. I would say that too, but his, the names are also switched up in Zoid's Legacy. That can't be a coincidence. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's see. Uh, ooh, I mean... I, I kind of want to give it up to Mary Champ for appearing in one episode and then getting a... We have selectable. the man destined to be king here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Either Harry Champ, Mary Champ, or those two people that are apparently going to ride in the same cockpit. Oh, well, yeah, the main uh, character of, um, of, uh, Chaotic Century. Yeah. Alright, um, okay, let's go with the man destined to be king. The man destined to be king. <laughs> what do you think? A champion has arrived. Look at his stats. <laughs> man, like... His combat's good, but I think Lena is actually better all around. Yeah. So, if hey. y'all don't know, if you haven't seen the anime, Harry is very much unconditionally in love with Lena. Okay, let's go. He loves Lena as his true and honest waifu. Oh, yeah. Wait a so, minute. Our anime... 
Do I remember the characters have waifus? That's like do electric sheep dream of um what's the phrase? Ah I, I threw electric Ah, fuck it. So normally I have like all the shit in this game because I'd be pimping when it comes to Zoids Legacy or Battle Legends. But you know what? I'm gonna be playing this as if it was a brand new file. Oh, I'm gonna no. be showing you how to true and honestly beast the hell out of this game. So, first thing you wanna do is sell your Zoids. I don't think you can sell a Zoid with a person in it though, can you? I don't think unless you wanna sell the actual person. I mean, I mean how much would Harry Champ fetch on the market? He is rich. He's a very rich man. That was the whole thing with him. Is that he... He was, like, good at fighting, but... I mean, he was he was good at building good Zoids, but, like, his, his skill left something to be desired. You know... I mean, nobody's perfect, I guess. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Look who we're playing is. Fair point. Not everybody is perfect. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, like I said, me and him did a, like, a part of the Zoids Legacy LP three years ago now, if you can believe that. Amazing how time flies, man. Like, I didn't even have my Schlotzky's job back in those days. I wasn't... Yeah, I was in the Navy still, yeah. Uh, would you say that you can sail the seven seas? <laughs> I did learn a little bit about science and technology. He did. Uh, I can attest to that, even though I wasn't there. Yeah, never studied oceanography, though. That That's somebody else's job. So, in order to beast the hell out of this game, you want to go ahead and buy the Blade Liger KS. Ooh. That looks fucking awesome, man. Oh yeah, no, the modeling in this game for a GameCube game is beautiful. Look at the like the graphics aren't bad at all. Like, oh yeah. It's I mean the running the animation. Toys. Oh yeah. <laughs> the running animation is jank, but them standing still, beautiful. You don't have the weapon binder yet, but we will get that. So Let's go ahead and change our entry here. Oh, we didn't need to. I'll be damned. Oh, perfect. So... Yeah, if you play this game, like, over and over again, you can just get, like, 999 money and just buy all the best shit in the game, but... I'm gonna show you all how to do this as if you were a brand new, true and honest player. You know what I mean? Just a, just a regular gamer, just like all of you guys, bro. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just an, a Joe Average gamer, you know? <laughs> no early release copies here, man. We play this shit day one. Perfect. Just enough money, you see that? Oh, that's nice. So, also, let's get out of this menu here. You have a lot more options in this game, by the way, than you or in this, this uh, mode than you would, say, in the campaign mode, as you can probably see. But, yeah. what color do we want? Well, it should be obvious right here. Pink. Oh, yeah. Styling. Claudia Pink, of course. Now, watch me break this the game utterly. Oh, this ought to be good, guys. You're gonna see why I didn't pick the Blade Liger for story mode now, because it would have been a total cakewalk. Let's switch to the blades. No booster yet, but we don't even need that shit. We got a shield. Alright, watch this. Gotta get close. Activate the lasers. Come on. Okay, Harry's actually putting in some work over here, damn. He knows Lena's watching somewhere. Somewhere. But yeah, look at this. Look at how ridiculous I can just, like, dig the laser into the side of this thing as much as I want to. 
This is busted beyond belief. Yeah, and then you just get a nice run around. Like, the fact that the game lets you do this is a little bit crazy, but it is Claudia, after all. Yeah. I figured so an attack like that would be like an animated thing where you just kind of, like, dash past no, him. No, you just hold the button down and run at him. It's, it's <laughs> literally that simple. Perfect. Of course, with a shorter sword like this, it's going to take a little bit longer, but you know what? Yeah. The only drawback to this is you can't use it on boss zoids. Which is why oh, I course. bought the Weapon Binder, because you can use that on boss zoids and completely wreck them, so... Again, if you, win -win. Don't, if you don't side with Claudia in the story in Republic, you get the Shield Liger, the Blade Liger, but... In a choice between Blade Liger or Waifu, you know my vote. Oh, and if you obvious. don't know that vote, you don't know me well enough. And you shouldn't even be watching this channel until you go... Uh, get into the entire PD1 Piranha uh, history books, which are available right now on Audible uh, and Amazon right now. <laughs> Narrated, of course, by the one, the only. Uh, I was going to say me, but hell no, I can't read a book to save my life. Yeah, he literally can't read. Like he, he, in, he has not the ability to read books. I can't read books, I can't read... Uh, no telegraph move. Yeah, Blaze I was going to say, yeah. We just got done playing Blaze Blue earlier before we um, started this lovely game, so. Yeah. It's Funny always enough, nice, yeah. Like, I, we did like an alternate universe match where he was Kagura and I was Bing. The results were as expected. Got my ass handed to me. Thankfully, when the dimensional fashion. merge happens, we'll be able to do that for real. Oh no, I'm actually gonna get my ass astral finished. No, help me! I'm sorry, <laughs> Harry. <laughs> I got my hands full it. over here. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we just take a moment to reflect on how pathetic that sounded? Like, it's not even his actual- it's not even Brad Swaley from the anime. It's just some random could, English BA they got. They could get Brad Swaley for Zoid's Fusors, but not this game. <laughs> No, help me! <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, Plain Bro and I recently finished watching Zoid's Fusors. We're somehow still alive. Yeah, good on ya. You're braver men than I am, I'll tell you that much. I've only heard the horror stories about that. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't good enough, oh my god. That's the most gonna... polite loss I've ever heard of. Oh no, wait until you hear um, this character named Athley. He's the best oh, no. one of them all. <laughs> Can't wait. Okay, Harry's not dead yet at least. No! Help me! <laughs> Help! 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 <laughs> Save the pig. <laughs> I, I didn't think it could get any worse, but... <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> Nothing is impossible with a champion. Okay, can I use the... Oh no, he's actually dead. Oh no, I won. <laughs> That's what you get for not donating some money to the cause, champ. Like, Claudia's voice is actually one of the only half-decent voices in this. D! I deserve that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you still get paid. And I will say this, if you're gonna go all out on voice acting, you gotta cover the waifus first. Well, Harry Champ Saint Lord. Germain is at least a decent voice actor. She was like five characters in My Little Pony, after all. Five, huh? Well, I know she was Rarity, who's one of the main characters. She was Luna, who's like one of the goddesses. And I'm pretty sure she was a couple of the background characters at that. <laughs> well, if you get the skills to pay the bills, you might as well do it, right? 
go ahead and buy some armor, why not? That'll help. Yeah, I like this mode a lot, because it just gives you, like, all the freedom in the world to just pick whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Live out the dream battles without being confined to circumstance. And again, I like the the emphasis on the customization that it has. Mission confirmed. Taking off now. Yeah. Harry, I'm sorry I picked Harry. He was funny, but now he's. Well, it's he's like enough to feel money like I can at least use his um. I can use his uh. What do you call it? Uh, dark dark horn. This yeah. Is my turn. I dark almost horn. had it too on my own. If you saw there, I had them both down to like no fucking health. But I could use my get up attack, which is a fucking get up attack in a non-fighting game, which is something certainly. <laughs> Some people would call this revolutionary, man, for a get-up attack in a mech fighting game. You know? Mission confirmed. Taking off now. What else can I say but, um... There. I'm a four, former pro mech game player. <laughs> you want to know the truth? I think he's one of the best overall mech gamers in the country. Pick up any mech game right I now. I have and no just... time for waifus. <laughs> I'm married. I have a waifu, idiot. I have no time for 3D girls. Girlfriends, you know. Dating in real life or anything like that. Be real here, I'm a 30... Seven-year-old weeb. Oh, I have a waifu, idiot. Oh, thank you, DS Weeb, for existing only in our hearts. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Harry. Come on, Harry. You see how busted this is, though? I can just, like, make passes on him over and over again with this with the blades. You would think that something like that would run out of juice, but... It never does. Well, there you go. Game over. Perfect. Your command was almost perfect. Good snark at the end. You know who should be playable in this game? Sure, a Violet. Oh, of course. Absolutely.